Okay, so we are in the kitchen. I did say last time that I was going to cook something quite unusual, and um, that's because these little beauties are out at the moment. These mushrooms, and they're lovely. And I was going to cook a whole one, but my wife decided that she was going to cut it up and cook it in half, and I need a whole one to be able to cook it. So we will do that again. I've got a smaller one there, but we'll do that in a separate um, video. So, first things first, we're going to do some chicken. We're going to do beer can chicken. I, I like um, to use cider. So first things first, I am going to pour a nice glass of cider. A second, put the can in there. So other makes are available. This is the chicken. So this has been in um, some, I'm just thinking actually if that'll fit in there. It might do. Um, it's been in the brine, so it's nice and, nice and tender. Now, fun bit. So open up the cavity, feed that over. There we go. Hopefully, I'll pull that one down and get that baby set up. There we go. Perfect. So I'm just doing a bit of a tip. I'm just going to adjust that. So there we are. That's. Well, let's open that up again. Let's take that out. Just want to open that cavity up a little bit more. That's it. Yeah. So I'll see what's going on. Okay. So let's slide that over. It's getting caught on that bit there. So we just feed it over. Now that is, I'll just reach my hands, that's hot, so that's the chicken, all we're going to do now is some salt and pepper, just going to rinse my hands with some soap before I put it into that, salt, so we've got cider instead of beer can. Side is lovely um, on this, so I'm just going to put a little bit of oil onto this. There we go. And then pepper. It's already got some seasoning on it, so and some. Uh, Salt. I like a good smidgen of salt that gets all the flavours and then the oil, use the oil to, uh, that's it, give it a good coat. Wash my hands again. Really important when dealing with poultry is to keep your hands nice and clean. It's also really good for Covid. So we've oiled it with salt and pepper, a little bit more salt on the back, there we go. And then what we'll do, we'll take it out and we'll put it onto the barbecue in the hut. Okay, back in the hut. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move these uh, fire boxes around a little bit so I can just adjust the, the cooking so we get the heat exactly where we want it. Get that back there, and just back there. Not there, you. That's it. Hope you can see that. So I'm going to move the chicken back a little bit. Come out of the way, fella. And just gonna. chicken on so we're just going to stand it back a little bit and we're going to put the breast round towards you oh now she's twisted her legs up come on darling there we go <laughs> not the best of poses is it but so that's how we start let me I always keep wipes into the hut so that I can do me 
pens. Uh, and hopefully now you can see that. That's just starting to get that right over the, the bit of heat that, that we need. So it's not over direct heat, um, but it is. It is getting heat from both sides. And that is quite warm. You can't keep your hands there for too long at all. So the other thing that I will do, so I also like to just put a couple of smoky bits in. So let's just move that to one side and put a couple in there and a couple in that side. Now this is maple. The reason I like maple is because when it it's been soaking as well for about half an hour, 40 minutes. When that starts to give off some smoke, um, it will just touch the edge of that skin and leave a beautiful taste. And you can't beat it. You can't, can't replicate that taste from anything out of a can, anything out of a tin or a spray. It only comes over coals and by using a little bit of wood. So we'll just leave that to cook. So you can uh, hear that cooking, that is cooking really nice. I'm also just gonna, I know I said about those mushrooms, but I'll put some butter on those and we'll put those on there as well. I'll move things about in a second. So, round to the other side there, like that. And move the chicken forward a little bit. And then I can baste it as well. So it's nice and hot. So, oh, come on Daphne, lift your legs. well saved that man so now we'll just move that back put the mushrooms to the back and I'm gonna baste it it's been on for a little bit this is just a, a nice little um, mix of um, a barbecue rub that uh, that I make and um, some oil but it's just adds under the arms you can hear her laughing actually as I tickle underneath her arms but this just gets right into the the flavour of the into the actual meat itself There we go. So I'm just going to leave that. Yeah, actually, let's put that on there. So that will just add with the flavour now. And you can hear it cooking. I've got my cider. And we'll just let that continue to cook. But that um, is steaming. That can is actually steaming inside now with cider. So I uh, hope you're enjoying it. But there's many ways you can cook it. And I'm sure you'll do yours different ways. And this is mine. Enjoy.
That's it. Now what we're going to do, we've got it on there, leave it for about half an hour, put the top on, let that just gently steam in that cider. And uh, once the cider's gone off, that's actually like an oven. And that's going to be absolutely delicious. So we've actually got the food taster in here today as well. So let's show you. Cooking away is the chicken. And there, look at that face. Look, how long is it going to be, Dad, she says. So Ellie's joined us in the hut. Hello Ellie. Hi. There's Elsie dog. And in there is the chicken. She's cooking. Lovely. Okay, I think we're just about there. So I'm going to get rid of this top off there. Oh, that's cooked up lovely. Oh, that is nice and warm. So that is the chicken cooked to perfection it taste oh absolutely it smells lovely and I know what it's going to taste like 